Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have been on here to film a macrame video and I thought I'd hop on and do like a little little, little thing. I'm not going to be making a piece today but I am going to be showing you the different sizes of macrame rope that way you can best determine which size to use for your project. And as luck would have it I got bit by a mosquito right here on my forehead. We're going to go over what we've got here and right here we've got a one and a half millimeter We've got a three millimeter and a five millimeter. So I'm gonna do a few knots on each. That way you can see, you know, what it looks like as the knots progress and you know, how small it is, how big it is. So I'm not gonna zoom in and show you like every little detail that I'm doing. I'm not really showing you how I'm doing the knot. Um, I'm just gonna be showing, um, you know, the sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 square knots on each one. This little fella right here, he is so tiny. Something, something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your coming Thought I was a man of my own, but It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my ear Alright, I'm a back yellow. Just a hair, just a little bit of hair So you can see the whole piece, okay Can you see it? Okay, good deal Okay, so granted, this is a little bit of a wavy driftwood So I'm gonna try to even them out the best we can so you can see first off I don't really know exactly how long that took me to do each one but I will tell you um, I'm just gonna talk about each one for a minute and talk about like my recommendations or you know some pieces that I've made just different things about each size and I'm gonna start with a little tiny over here okay now little tiny is great for small projects such as earrings bracelets um what else yeah, those little things, little big time things. Um, because when you start incorporating this on like a actual wall hanging, um, so like a, a driftwood piece, um, even half this size, you see how long it took me. I feel like it took me roughly the same amount of time to do all of them. I don't really know for sure, but you can see how much time took up how much like space. So like it took me that long just to make it down to here versus Big Yella, Big Daddy over here, who the same amount of time it took to come all the way down to here. So, you know, when it, when it comes to the big macrame pieces and everything, length is a big factor. And so when you consider the time that it takes to get all the way down to here on this little thing right here, it is going to take a significantly more, significant more amount of time to make a piece with the smaller rope. So that's why it is very important to choose your rope wisely. Now, one thing I will recommend, if all you got is this little bitty tiny rope and you wanna make a macrame piece, do not fret, do not fret, because see here lies the three millimeter. And the three millimeter I feel like is a pretty um, average size to go with for um, macrame like wall hangings and stuff. Uh, when it comes to like, I'm talking about average size. So this piece right here, this would work absolutely perfect for. Um, you get into the more larger ones like this big daddy over here, that one, yeah. No, you're gonna need some bigger rope than that. Um, I definitely recommend a five millimeter for that. You could potentially use the three, but like I said, the smaller that it is, the longer it's gonna take to reach the length of how long you want it to be. You know, like the knots, it'll shrink as it goes. And the smaller this is, the tighter knots it's gonna make, which means it's gonna take longer to get further down. Okay, hope that makes sense. So, with that being said, I did make a piece um, with this really, really tiny rope, and I used it on about half of this size. I actually have a video on it. It is the Macrame Shadow Box video. Um, you can scroll way down, way down, find that sucker. Um, and I love it, it's cute, I still got it. It's hanging up on my wall. Um, but the issue with that is if you're looking to make pieces out of that to sell, not a lot of people are going to realize the amount of time that it took to make that. I would. I would look at that and realize they took a lot of time tying those tiny, tiny knots with this rope to make that massive piece. Somebody calling my husband. Um, however, uh, the amount of time that it took you to make that piece, you're really never going to make your profit um, off of you know your time 
versus how much people would buy that for. Somebody maybe would buy that for like 20 bucks, maybe. Um, and I would easily, the I can't even, it took me like, it took me two days to make it of constant work. So probably about 14, 15 hours worth of work for 20 bucks. You know, like that's just, it's not worth it. And so you have to determine what, um, you know, it's going to be more profitable depending upon what size rope that you're going to choose on what piece that you're going to be making. If all you've got is this rope right here and you want to make a bigger piece, you can double it up, okay? And I double it up a lot. Um, I, on my macrame keychains, uh, what else do I have? The passy clips that I do. Well, if I did not just get back from my walk, start editing this video and realize that uh, I knocked my camera over uh, halfway through that video and when I did, the mic quit recording. So, here I am, my sweaty mess with my decluttering um, in the background. I'm working on this closet out here, which if you would have seen it, you would just know, but that's not the point. The point is, I gotta finish what I was doing. I gotta talk about this thing right here. So, I can't remember what the last thing that I said was before it shut off and I lost all my footage. I probably should have watched that before this, but I'm just gonna talk about it real quick because I was pretty much done with what I was saying. I was just going into a little bit more detail. So basically, in my total recommendations, I 100% recommend the three millimeter for most of your projects, unless you're doing large scale projects, such as that one that I showed you earlier, then I would 100% get either a five millimeter or a six millimeter. Um, but the six millimeter would 100% also work for this small one right here. Um, but you can just see like the amount of time that it took and how long. It's really not that much of a difference on this one, but the knots on this one are a little bit more prominent um, than this one from far away. Um, and you can really see this like on a larger piece. <sighs> and you got a little tiny over here, who, you know, it is what it is. But I can't remember everything that I said and I can't really read all my lips because it's literally like three whole minutes worth of stuff that I lost. So I apologize for that. Um, but I feel like I said the majority of what I wanted to say. So this is the difference in these different size millimeters. Let me know if it helped you at all. If it like gave you like a little nice visual to see them side by side. Um, that sort of thing. So yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I got another YouTube video I think I'm gonna do. Um, things are changing and I'm trying to get my life together. But you know, I say that all the time, but this time I'm serious because look, I'm decluttering. There's stuff right here. I gotta do something with it. So that means I gotta do something. I gotta get it together somehow. Okay, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great day and God bless. Alright, I love you. Love you. Smoking hot. Love you, bye. Be safe. Huh? You're good looking. Thank you.